Hello guys, welcome back to the Stuffy Meetings channel. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, we haven't posted for a very long time, but that's okay because we are back again. So, today we are going to take about the very famous piece that was composed by Johann Sebastian Bach. Yes, that's his name. And this piece's name is Tokara and Fugue in D minor. Check it out. Sounds like Excuse this. me, it's called Tokara, not Tokara. Oh, okay. Check it out. Sounds like this. So, that is the part we'll be taking today. Okay, but before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Because, yeah, that, just do it. Just do it. Now. Okay, without further ado, let's get started now. So, first of all, we need to know where we will start. So here's middle C. I'll put SpongeBob's hand on it to make you know that this is middle C. As I said, the the key that SpongeBob's arm is on is middle C. Okay. So so uh wait, change the camera position. Okay. So middle C, go to this C. But don't go to this C. Th no. Find this A. Middle C, octave, and here's this A. This key is called A5. Now, in most of our tutorial, we have to do octaves. Okay. So, now that we have to do octaves, we have to press A5 and A4 together. So, A, G, A, G, F, E, D, C sharp, and D. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, we're splitting this into five pieces. And this part that I just played is the first piece. Again. A, G, A, G, F, E, D, C sharp, D. That's it for the first part. Now, time for the second. Okay, the second part, rather than being A5 and A4, now it's A4 and A3, one octave lower. Okay. A, G, A, E, F, C sharp, D. One more time. A, G, A, E, F, C sharp, D. That's it for the second part. Now time for the third part. Now, the third part is exactly the same as the first part. If you still don't know it, go back. Press this button. Tap on your screen. Yeah, yeah, there it is. And, skip, and just skip until you find it. Okay. So, the third part is exactly the same like the first part. But rather for being like A, G, A with A5 and A4, now it's A, G, A with A3 and A2. Okay, so A, G, A, G, F, E, D, C sharp, and D. That's it for the third part. Now, all parts that we have learned so far should sound like this. Okay. Now, for 
for the um, now for the fourth part it's octave D here's D D2 and D3 now we want them octave together together what octave together so D octave middle C is here but in in reality it should be like D2 and D1 which is way below our keyboard and we can't play that so our keyboard does not have this D1 so I just do D2 and D3 but if you do have a keyboard that has more keys and has D1 then go for the D1 D2 one okay so octave D and then C sharp and E and G and A sharp and C sharp and E and remember guys all of these notes which are C sharp E G A sharp C sharp and E all of these keys we have to when we press them we keep our fingers off on them you keep on pressing like on them like this C sharp stay E stay G stay A sharp stay and uh, C sharp stay and E stay at the end when you finish these notes of your your finger should be playing all of these okay so one more time for the fourth part octave D C sharp E G A sharp C sharp and E now for the fifth part it's a little complicated but not that complicated okay with your right hand press D here's middle C this D Press D, and with your thumb, press this A and G, so like this, all of them together, and you keep pressing on them, and and combine it with the left hand, which is D two, D uh, three, I mean, so you should press D and A and G with your right hand, and also press this D with them so it should give you the full sound okay so and then you have to let go of G to do that you just move your thumb and then you press with your left hand um, uh, E and then F sharp one more time D and A and G with your right hand and this D with your left hand all together now let's go of the G by moving your thumb and then with your left hand E and F sharp so all the parts we have learned if you don't remember a part then uh, well just go back in the video please I want you to learn them okay or if you don't have time just leave it for next time okay Oh, and one more thing, guys. I forgot to tell you. While you're playing these, just keep, make sure that they're octaves. And you have to press those octaves in the exact same time. You can't just go by... Like, this is horrific. And... And... And I'll cry tonight if you play that. Don't play this. Play this. So it should be with octaves and at the same time. Okay. Now all the parts we have learned should sound like this. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I and now I hope that you have learned this 
a part of this piece. If you didn't, then go back again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you learned anything or if you enjoyed the video. And see you next time on Learning the Piano on the Stuffy Meanings channel. Oh, and also, if you like and subscribe, you are a part of the Stuffy Family! Settle down, sweetie. Ugh. Goodbye. Oh, uh, uh, my hand's going crazy. And, and, how do you want this video? And, and.